talk Packer football. Let's talk about Aaron Rodgers. So the Packers are going to open up training camp next Wednesday. And of course, the biggest question, really the only question that truly matters is, is Aaron going to be there? And there's been an update this morning, a few hours back. Adam Schefter did tweet the following, and I quote, This offseason, the Packers offered Aaron Rodgers a two-year contract extension. (coughs) Excuse me. A two-year contract extension that would have tied him to Green Bay for five more seasons and made him the highest-paid quarterback and player in football. Rodgers declined the offer. Proof, it's not about the money, end quote. Well, well, well. Very interesting. Sort of. Maybe. Actually, who knows? Because it sure feels like this is coming out of nowhere, right? And yet at the same time, the timing does seem pretty interesting, doesn't it? I mean, on the surface, it sounds like the Packers offered him a two-year extension. They'd pay him a huge sum of money. They would have made him the highest paid player in the game and effectively made him a Packer for life. One of the things that Aaron has said is very important to him. So that would be great. Honestly, that would be the resolution. I think that everybody not named Jordan Love and perhaps everybody who's not a Denver Bronco fan would be hoping for. Aaron Rodgers, drafted by the Packers. He is a Packer legend, going to retire as a Packer the way he always wanted it to be and most assumed that it would be. And everybody's happy about that, except for Jordan Love and Bronco fans. So it would seem like, according to the report, the Packers finally caved. They did the right thing. They gave him that big-time deal that he earned and he deserved and he wanted, and it has him locked for the next several years, right? Aaron declined the offer. And according to Schefter, Rogers declining the offer is, quote, proof that it's not about the money, end of quote. All right, so also very interesting because if the Packers really did step up with this amazing offer and he really did turn it down, then it means that he really does not want to be there after saying all along that that's exactly where he wanted to be. So if they really are giving him what he wanted, why does he reportedly still want to leave, right? If they're giving him what he wants, why does he still want out? Is it because the bridge has already been torched or is it because the offer may not be what it appears? The offer may not be what the Packers want you to think that it appears to be. I don't know. I don't know what it is and I don't know what it isn't because we do not have all the information. The devil is always in the details and the details are always in the fine print. The tweet says, all right, the tweet says that the offer would have tied him to Green Bay for five more years. But we already know that his current deal runs through 2023. So with that language, he's already tied to Green Bay for three more years. Except, and this is key, we know the Packers can get rid of him after this season and go with Jordan Love for 2022. So, while he's tied to the Packers, they're not tied to him. So, what did this two-year extension look like? Was it guaranteed money, or was it some of that NFL money that vanishes whenever a team wants it to vanish? If they offered him a two-year extension worth a billion dollars per year, non-guaranteed, what's the point? If it's non-guaranteed, he's not getting it. So the question is, did the offer tie Rodgers to the Packers or did it tie the Packers to Rodgers? And isn't this what this has been all about all along? Yeah, well, that and them moving up to draft his replacement and not telling him first instead of using that pick to help him get back to the Super Bowl when they were so close and he was playing the best football of his career. You see, from everything I've seen, Rodgers seems to be good with being tied to the Packers. 
but he wants the Packers to be tied with him as well. He doesn't want them to have the opportunity to dump him for Jordan Love whenever they feel like it. Right? I mean, I get that. I see him working. That's not hard to understand. This is the league MVP. You'd think that winning the league MVP would get you a little more job security than a few more months before you know that you can get shoved aside so they can get to the new guy who has never thrown a single NFL pass. If the Packers offer really was guaranteed money that would keep him in Green Bay for the next five years and also handcuff the Packers to him for the next five years, that would be a hell of a statement for an organization that has given absolutely no indication that that's what they want to do, right? So now, all of a sudden, on the eve of training camp, they're just going to back up the Brinks truck. Now, suddenly, they're going all in on Rodgers after refusing to do so for months. This is a team that drafted Jordan Love in the first round last year and has been reluctant to commit to Rodgers beyond his 38th birthday. But all of a sudden now, they're going to lock themselves into making him the highest paid player in the game and pay him well into his 40s? Really? What changed? And why are we to believe this is the case now? And if this really is the case... The hell took them so long to get here, if in fact we actually are here. Let me tell you how this looks. And again, I haven't seen the fine print, but I'm going to tell you how it looks. It looks like we're just over a week to go before camp. They're trying to make him look like the bad guy. Because apparently there's this amazing offer, and they're all in, and they're committed to him, but he's not committed to them. That's how it looks. Look what we did. And he doesn't want it. He's the bad guy. I'm just not convinced. Stop parsing words. Stop leaking things to Shefty and shoot straight. If it is what you want people to believe it is, man, say it. Say it. It's guaranteed money with protection for Rodgers. We're tied to him. He's tied to us. Into his 40s. He's going to end his career here. Do it. Say it. Or you know what? Better yet, better yet, you want people to believe it? Trade Jordan Love. Prove that you're not going to dump Aaron for Love after the upcoming season. Until we know more about the offer, it's just a report. It's just a report, and it doesn't really change anything. In fact, it may have made things even worse. If the alleged offer is not what it appears... And Rogers thinks that once again, they're going public with it when both sides don't want to, allegedly. And they're going public with it just to cover their own ass and make him look bad. How much worse did that just get? Fact is, this entire debacle was avoidable if the team had just handled their business and their first ballot Hall of Famer the way you're supposed to handle a first ballot Hall of Famer, who, by the way, is the reigning MVP of the entire league. But they didn't. And they've got nobody to blame but themselves. Rodgers is not the problem here. The organization is. Period. I'll believe it when I see it. When I see it. 1-800-636-8686. Now, where do you come out? Where do you come out? I got a feeling Aaron's not real happy about this, and I wouldn't be either if I were him. Let's go to southeast Wisconsin quickly, Chris. Good to have you, Chris. What's up? Hey, Jim, dude. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How about you? I'm doing great, man. Hey, listen, we're inching closer and closer to the excitement and anticipation of the start of NFL training camps. Not to mention the great privilege of watching the Chicago Bears rookie quarterback phenom, Justin Fields. However, currently, I'm sure we can all agree that all eyes are fixed on the bleep storm in Green Bay. And will that spoiled fan base get their wish? Will Aaron Rodgers show up? Let me borrow a phrase recently made famous by Milwaukee Bucks NBA superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
Rogers has tinkled on your parade, Packer fan guy. So for all you whiny, jealous fans that always complain about star athletes caring only about the money, you finally get your wish. Here's a great example of a player that could care less about the money. The reality is Goody and company rolled the dice and bet against the Cali Bread signal caller last year. But guess what? They crapped out, Packer fan guy. I find it hilarious that the Packers brass expected Rodgers to suck last year. Instead, the future Hall of Famer throws 48 TD pass, passes and only five picks. It's time to face your new reality. Take your Rodgers jerseys, fold them up neatly in a box, and put them up for sale on eBay, you cheap bastards. Because as for Rodgers, he gone. Wore the Bucks and six. Or A-Rod for going absolute legend this summer, creating enormous suspense and then giving the Green Bay organization what it deserved, an enormous and much-deserved middle finger on his way out of title town. It's a dynasty, clones!